Hey, before we get into your weekly dose of My Night Season 3 memes and misspellings of my name, not so much grew anymore. I guess we've outgrown that. Out, I guess we've outgrown that. <coughs> anyway, a bit of shameless self-promotion. So you know that Fortnite cinema channel, the one where I've been working with Mama's Boy on the Fortnite short films with theater mode. So there's a new video up on there, but it's actually, it's a special one because it's an entry into a contest that Epic Games is doing called like the Fortnite Blockbuster Contest, where if the video wins actually, it could be played in Risky Reels in the actual game when people are playing. You watching, it doesn't actually impact whether or not it'll win, but I just thought I'd, I'd call it out because it's like a special edition that I don't know if they'll see it. We submitted it, but I'm sure they're getting like a zillion entries. But anyway, it's it, feel free to check it out if you want. It's linked in the description. And I think Mama's Boy did a pretty great job on it anyway, so you might enjoy it. All right, let's get into the memes of My Night Season 3, which is, of course, number nine, the first one we're starting off with. Here we go, My Night Season 3, never heard of it. My Night Season 3, throw it in the fire. Yep, it's not a thing, it's not. <sighs> How did I know that was gonna be just like the first thing we got there? <laughs> God dang it. Uh, upvote for Jordasaurus. And hey, back to back, we got a My Night Season 3 and we got a misspelling of my name. Sequential order. Upvote for Jordasaurus to see and to bring in vector memes. I don't actually, what is a, what's a vector meme? Is that a new meme that I'm not aware of? Is this one making the rounds now? When I think vector memes, I think rather than it being like super JPEGged or even like a regular quality Photoshop, you're using vector. So you can blow up the meme to any size you want. You could put it on the side of a building and it would not be pexel pexelated. It would not be pexelated because I don't know what pexels are, but it wouldn't be pixelated because it's in vector format. And, and it looks like someone from Despicable Me, like it's Despicable Me, Despicable Me character. So that's that's what I'm assuming, is you're trying to move it from Gru into something else. I'm not sure about this. Out in the wild, what the fork? Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. As much as I would like to think I'm the first person to come up with that word substitution, the English language has been around for a little longer than I've been around, and I'm probably not the first person to come up with it. But I'll take the credit. I mean, if you want to give it to me, if you want to give me the trademark to be able to take the revenue from things like this, can we copy strike these plates? Can we do it? I don't know. But if you want to give me permission to do it, then then why not? But I don't think I'm the first to do it. I'll, I'll keep rolling with it, though, because you're free to think that I am the first. I'll take the credit or credit's not due. Giordan Maroon 5. Oh, you, you actually, um, you substituted some of the, the stuff here. The last time that I saw this graphic, it was just my same head copy pasted on everyone. But in this case, wow, you actually, yeah, you put in some work and switched up so it's unique versions of my face on every single one, including female me. And including, I've come to the conclusion that this is, if I hosted Vsauce, this is, hey, Vsauce, Jordan here. Did you know that one person could look so different, even though it's the same person? Let's dive into the science behind how that works. It's pri I, yep. Yeah. Anyway, the science behind auto-generated apps that turn you into old person, different, with the what opposite sex, etc., etc. Let's do it. Be more like Phil. This is Phil. He doesn't want My Night Season 3. He wants My Night Season 2.1. Be more like Phil. Well, I don't know what My Night Season 2.1 is, so I don't know if I can support Phil, honestly, because, yeah, what what is My Night Season 2.1? If you could clarify what that is, then maybe I can... If, that's, if that is the deep end, is My Night Season 2.1, then... I'll take it. Maybe what happened is that like as we were falling through that portal, I just got ejected out before everyone. Everyone else still falling, but I ended up on this ocean world in a new update. A lot of people are there. They're building houses. I'm building a house. I'm trying to find diamonds. I can't find diamonds. And that's the deep end. You should watch the deep end over on youtube.com slash Captain Sparkles 2. Now playing on a screen near you or this one that you're watching on right now. You can also watch and you should do it. Can't stop the, sh the shameless self-promotion. Can't stop, won't stop. I don't know. I just want to make quick art. Oh, it's your boy, Genestator. Sharks of the sky, hummingbirds of the sea. This is actually fantastic. I'm actually, we're, we're in progress right now, folks, on putting together a merch that will, will be a, you know, sharks are the hummingbirds of, that was the wrong, hummingbirds are the sharks of the sky. We're in, we're in the process, dude. And it's just, I have to decide, do you want to stick to one particular? Cause you could do, you know, hummingbird head, shark body, 
or you do shark head hummingbird body. We're just we got to figure out like, do we do one run at a time? Do we do a limited run both things? Anyway, it's in progress. It's in progress, but lo and behold, one day there will be a lo and behold, there is, is merch. This is great though. Genesator, I know for some reason you said the other time, like this was your last thing. I'm glad it wasn't your last thing, okay? I, I was gonna miss you and I didn't want it to be your last thing. The evolution of the Jord GT. This is creepy as hell. I don't know how to feel about this one. It reminds me a bit of a cat for some reason. Like my eyes look like cat's eyes. Nine lives. Lyrics to Back in Black that I can't remember. Someone's gonna be like, you should actually wrap your your GT to look like that. It would look great. It's, it's, it's just the people who are like, you should wrap your GT with your logo all over it. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that ever. Never, this is never gonna be a thing uh, in any circumstance whatsoever. And I want it to be a joke, except I don't think in many cases it's a joke. It's genuine, I think it would look cool if you wrapped your car in your logo. Like just spot it all over the place, put a giant logo on the hood, although with the, you know, the hood vents, how am I gonna put a giant logo of mine on the hood regardless? But I'm like, no, have you thought about this? Have you really visualized what that would look like? Cause it wouldn't look good at all. I'm sorry. I'm proud that I made my logo and all that stuff, but no, it doesn't, no, it doesn't look, it's not gonna look good. Just like that's not gonna look, oh God, can you imagine? You saw a car driving around that just had like, just lips on it, just some lips. Look great, you just look absolutely great. Oh boy, passed by Jordan's home today. Oh, I'm really happy that that's not kind of what I was expecting and um, that I would, yeah, I think fortunately people aren't, you know, creepy enough to upvote a thing that would be like someone actually driving by my house, which would be very weird. Jordan's home. You found it, guys. This is where I live. Uh, they actually did drive by my house. I can't believe you have done this to me. Exposed. This is where I live. Pretty, pretty big sizable building right there, though. Just wanted to advertise, make sure everyone's aware. I've even got a very fancy fire hydrant wearing a hat in front of my house. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Also, it's on, it's 3200 Jordan Street, in case you were wondering where to find it. And um, yeah, big glass windows, big, big, you know, architectural blocky, made of Minecraft blocks here, you know? it's just, It kind of looks like seared bricks a little bit, but just smooth seared bricks from Tinker's Construct. But yeah, dude, made my house out of Minecraft blocks. It's pretty, pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool. Motion tracking Jardaroon's eyes. Wait, wait, what? When you say motion tracking my eye, so I, I initially figured like pupil tracking, but I was like, how are you gonna do that after the fact? How's this even, are you keeping, I don't know if they're keeping my pupil in the exact same place. No, they're not. They're not keeping my pupil in the, I'm trying to figure out what exact, what's the part that's stabilized? What's the part that's motion track? Exactly, like, what did they do in After Effects? My cursor is there on purpose because I'm trying to figure out what part of my face is staying completely still in relation to the frame. Because that's generally what you do with motion tracking is you're stabilizing a point. You do like the middle of my brow ridge? No, no, because that go, I don't know, it looks interesting. It looks very interesting. It'd be like a, I feel like um, My Night Purge Highlights does this sort of thing for brief little bits in the vlogs over on the Jordan Marin Vlogs and Stuff channel. Go watch vlogs over there. I'm just gonna shout out every single, I'm gonna find a way to shout out every single channel within <laughs> confines of this video. Shameless self promo, ain't no no bounds. Pretty much every time he strip mines in the deep end, every single time. I already know what this is gonna look like. I already know, and it's 100% accurate. Yep. And I've actually seen this image before. I think I've shouted out this specific image when I've been strip mining in this series, probably in series before that. At least I'm about to run into some coal. You know, it's not all for nothing, but dude, there's just diamonds like everywhere on every side of me. Except you've forgotten my new additional strategy, which I'm obviously the first person to ever think of and no one has ever thought of it before me, which is just every few blocks, you just do a little, you just mine out into the wall, like the four or five blocks, however much you can reach from your main one by two shaft. And then it gives you additional probability of finding others because you're maximizing for just digging those five blocks, you're getting, you know, four around it that you could possibly find diamonds in. And so it's actually like pretty efficient, more so than the one by, because you're digging out two blocks in order to see the exposed faces of six of them, which is only a three to one ratio. Whereas if you dig into the wall and you're doing the one by one, which is why when I was in the, the crawling, the swimming mode able to mine, it was so great. You get a four to one ratio right there and it's so much more efficient for the use of your pickaxe and it's great. And if you don't play Minecraft and you're hearing me go on about this, you're just like, huh? 
This town in Michigan, Jardon Moran. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the town is called Moran and you uh, photoshopped Jardon onto there because I don't think there is a town anywhere called Jardon or Moran. But Moran's a pretty common name. I had a teacher in middle school, history teacher, named Mr. Moran. And um, yep, that's the extent of that story. I stand no chance. Jardon, it's not my decision. My hopes for Mayan 8 season three. What are you trying to say here? Are you trying to say that it is my decision because it's not my decision? Are you trying to say that it's not my decision is some kind of cop out and that I actually do have the ultimate authority over this? I do not. Human beings have free will and unfortunately my rhetoric is not enough to bend that free will of people who have very strong free will of their own. All right, I don't know what else to tell you, man. It ain't me. You started this. We should just make these. Every post have these in the corners. We'll see how Joe Adrarardriron likes that. Don't care. That's fine. You don't get the reference. It's it's yet another reference to the deep end. So um, feel free to watch that. I basically just I wanted to get some obsidian, so I mined out the corners of a bunch of Nether portals in the Nether because it's the easiest way to get obsidian, and the Nether portals are still functional. And I just filled in the corners with netherrack and people were like, oh, it's cheating, dude. You're ruining everything. You're ruining the aesthetic. And I'm like, what are you talking about? No one ever builds nether portals with the full 12 or 14 blocks. You do it with 10. It's more efficient that way. I'm freaking out for nothing. My God. Jeez. I had never seen such a violent reaction to something so minuscule in my life before. I don't know how you people are gonna face real problems when you're presented with them if you can't handle corners of a nether portal being a nether rack. I mean, geez. Whew. He didn't throw it away. All right, all right. Let me let me give some context here. Okay, I miss, but I I chose wrong words last time. Okay, in the last one where people were like, oh hey, he uh, he chants soda pop and got it on his stream, or someone sent it to him in his PO box, he unboxed it, and I said he threw it away. I didn't mean he threw it away as in he threw it into the trash. I meant he threw it just like away off off the screen, off camera. I didn't mean trash. But then I th I could see how that was misinterpreted for sure. So then he watched my response and then he seemed annoyed, but then he grabbed it and put it on. And so I just want to clarify that I didn't, it was the wrong choice of words. I meant threw it off camera. That anyway, I wouldn't expect someone to throw away a perfectly good t-shirt. And if somehow this response ends up getting watched again, my apologies. It's not what I meant. I don't think you are a person who throws away perfectly good t-shirts. I wouldn't think that of you at all. And I appreciate you wearing the shirt and supporting the cause. That is all, that is all. And I'm just gonna leave this here. Let Jar Jardoetis see and tell us a little story. A little story about how my, uh, my mom's cat would like to go on my shoulders. That was in fact a thing. My mom still has the cat. How old is the cat now? Oh my God, like some, maybe like nine? I guess that's not terribly old for a cat. Cats have lived to like 35, haven't they? Guinness Book of World Records, something like that. Let me just, hold on. Oldest cat. How old was it? 38! Woo! Cream Puff. Cream Puff the cat lived to age 38. 1967 to 2005. Damn, lived through like the Cuban Missile Crisis and all that and made it to Xbox coming out or Xbox 360 coming out. That's a life for a cat, my God. Anyway, yeah, this was one of the earlier vlogs that I ever filmed with uh, like one of my, with the early camcorder that I got for we made the move to more point and shoot slash the uh, mirrorless slash DSLR. This was at my, my mom's house that she doesn't actually live at anymore. Back with fetus Jardon. As you, as you might call him, <clears throat> who had a very, very strong jawline. I, I, I've tried, tried to get it back with the exercise, but I don't think I'll ever live up to my high school jawline, unfortunately. So that's really the, the story here, is that it's all downhill in the jawline department. We all welcome Zine to not Mayanite season, Mayan tie, to not Mayan tie season three. Ah, uh, it just looks like something is happening in the chest there. <laughs> I know it wasn't intended, and I, I respect the art. Genestator back again with another gif. There's just, it, it looks like something's going on in the chest. I'm sorry, God, I'm 12 years old. <clears throat> anyway, this is the deep end. Watch it. I feel like I plugged it 10 times. Plugged it like I'm plugging a leak in the boat. Just, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Maybe he did it on purpose, just knowing that I would I would look at it and be like, what is going on in the chest? What's going on in there? I don't, I don't get what's going on. 
Needlebirds are the sharks of the subreddit. Oh my god, you made it flap too. This is unacceptable. Flapping hummingbird made of needles. Can you imagine if you saw one of those in the sky? First off, you might be like, oh, that's a shark. But then you'd be like, no, it's a humming. No, it's not a hummingbird. It's actually just a bunch of needles. Woo. I don't think I could ever go outside again if I saw something like that flying through the air. That would be it. It's all no more outside. I mean, I don't do outside that much anyway, but that would be the last straw. Upvote. So Lil Jardine has to react to himself rapping. I wish you wouldn't. I really do. Also, is that my rap name? Lil Jardine instead of Sardine? That's that's a good one. Oh, here we go, folks. Oh no, this again. Gotta take a set, kill a pig again. again. Deal with the creeper and his sister sin, and I'm gonna get revenge like a tsunami. Woo! We're a father-son relationship. I'm the block and you're just the chip. And these boxes are my currency, so I'm always stacking mine like brutal chip. From the sea until the desert, this, this is, is my reality. reality. From the caves until the nether, it's my world to oversee. This might seem like something special, but, but we, we do, do this, this every day. day. This is my land made with my hand. This, this is Minecraft and I can't do Okay, you, you got you got you got me reacting to it. There weren't really many words to say other than this This was how many years ago now that must have been 2011 because that was at my first apartment out of uh, University well actually during university slash right after I abandoned ship there So six seven years ago depending upon when exactly. Yeah, it's like six seven years ago so, um, maybe my rapping will have improved since then. You never know. Maybe it'll resurface at some point. Me having to rap on, on something, I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't know if I'm, like, seeking that out. Yep, okay. So, you know, you got, some, that's, that video is over on Try Hard Ninja's channel. As you can tell, he is far more talented at doing things musically related than I am. I'm kind of just out of place there, but in any case, that's on his channel. If you want to look up the Minecraft rap. You, got, you already got your fill of me, but his part's more quality. Keep the puns coming. Jarred on, jarred off. And the coup de grace for this week's post on the subreddit is a misspelling play on words of, of my name. Who would have thought? God, I was so accurate at predicting the My Night Season 3 slash misspellings of my name. It was like uncanny. Incredible. Just a, I am a fortune teller. Un, unreal. I can predict the future. And no, I didn't go through all the posts before I started the video. It was completely genuine. And I'm just very good at predicting people's behavior. That's all. People are predictable. Anyway, that's it. Hey, we are almost at 11,000 subs on the sub. So feel free to sub. Do it. Oh, and then let's see. How many other channels do we have to plug? Uh, we did Fortnite Cinema. We did we did vlogs and stuff. We did Kevin Sparkles too. So it's only Marin Music, which is the music playing in the background right now. Dude, we plug it every channel. Woo, I should do that every video. Anyway, yeah, that's linked in the outro. We'll we'll wind it down there. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to make this video go from jarred on to jarred off.